Presidential elections, legislative elections and local elections were held in the Philippines on May 10, 2004. In the presidential election, incumbent President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo won a full six-year term as president, with a margin of just over one million votes over her leading opponent, highly popular movie actor Fernando Poe Jr. The elections were notable for several reasons. This election first saw the implementation of the Overseas Absentee Voting Act of 2003, see Wikisource, which enabled Filipinos in over 70 countries to vote. This is also the first election since the 1986 People Power Revolution where an incumbent president ran in the presidential election. Under the 1987 Constitution, an elected president cannot run for another term. However, Arroyo was not elected president, but instead succeeded ousted President Joseph Estrada, who was earlier impeached with charges of plunder and corruption in 2000 and later convicted on the plunder charge but received conditional pardon from Arroyo. Moreover, this was the first time since 1986 that both the winning president and vice president were under the same party, coalition. This election was also held at a period in modern Philippines marked by serious political polarization. This resulted in lesser candidates for the presidential and vice presidential elections compared to the 1992 and 1998 elections. Background The political climate leading up to the 2004 elections was one of the most emotional in the country's history since the 1986 elections that resulted in the exile of Ferdinand Marcos. Philippine society has become polarized between the followers of former President Joseph Estrada who have thrown their support for Estrada's close associate Fernando Poe Jr. and those who support incumbent Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, or at best oppose Estrada. The several months leading to the May elections saw several presidential scandals, Arroyo reversing her earlier decision not to run for president, the sudden but not unexpected candidacy of Fernando Poe Jr., defection of key political figures from the Arroyo camp to the opposition, the controversial automated elections initiative of the Comalac, and the split of the dominant opposition party, Laban ng Demokratikong Pilipino, between Poe and Panfilo Laxon. Gloria Macapagal Arroyo's candidacy On a speech given on Rizal Day, December 30, 2002, Gloria Macapagal Arroyo declared that she would not run in the 2004 elections. Arroyo claimed that withdrawing from the race would relieve her of the burden of politics and allow her administration to devote the last year and half to the following First, strengthening the economy to create more jobs and to encourage business activities that are unhampered by corruption and red tape in government. Second, healing the deep divisions within Philippine society. Third, working for clean and honest elections in 2004. This was hailed as a welcome development by many people, especially those in the business and economic sectors. Nine months later, on October 4, 2003, Arroyo completely changed her mind. Arroyo stated that her change of heart was for a higher cause and that she cannot ignore the call to further serve the country. Many people, especially those who held on to her commitment, were dismayed by her turnabout, though most were unsurprised since there had been clues months before that she would probably not stand by her earlier decision. Others welcomed this development, saying that she needs more time to implement her projects, and that she would be the strongest contender against a likely candidacy by Fernando Poe Jr. Equals 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 Fernando Poe Jr. S. Candidacy equals 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 months before the elections, members of the opposition have been encouraging Fernando Poe Jr., a close friend of former President Joseph Estrada to run for president. Poe was very popular with the masses and it was widely believed that he would be a sure winner if he ran for president. On November 27, 2003, Poe ended months of speculation by announcing that he will run for president during a press conference held at the Manila Hotel. However, on January 9, 2004, Victorino X. Fournier, a private citizen, filed a case against Poe and the Comalac, saying that Poe wasn't eligible to run for he is not a natural-born Filipino before the Comalac. On 23 January, the Comalac dismissed the petition for lack of merit. 
On February 10, Fournier finally filed the case to the Supreme Court, seeking Poe to be disqualified from the race. His case was later merged with cases filed by Maria Jeanette C. Texan, and Felix B. Desiderio Jr., and by Zoilo Antonio G. Velez. Death of lawyer Maria Jeanette Texan On September 28, 2007, 8.30 p.m., Senior Superintendent Francisco Uyami, Pasig Police Chief stated that lawyer Maria Texan, 40, was found dead, in a state of rigor mortis, inside room 204 at the Richmond Hotel, San Miguel Avenue, Pasig City, with her throat slit and with cuts on her wrist. Maria Jeanette Texan, Zoilo Velez, promoted to Court of Appeals Justice, and Victorino Fournier filed the disqualification case against Fernando Poe Jr. She claimed Poe was born out of wedlock and that while Poe's birth certificate was dated 1939, his parents Alan Poe and American mother Bessie Kelly did not marry until 1940. On March 3, the Supreme Court said in its decision that for lack of jurisdiction and prematurity, and ruling that Poe's father, Alan F. Poe, would have been a Filipino citizen by virtue of the en masse Filipinization enacted by the Philippine Bill of 1902. Also, even if Poe wasn't a natural-born Filipino citizen, he cannot be held guilty of having made a material misrepresentation in his certificate of candidacy. See also, the Supreme Court's decision. Eddie Villanueva's candidacy The Commission on Elections originally affirmed the candidacies of six people for the president. The sixth person running for president was Bro. Eddie Villanueva, spiritual director of Jesus is Lord Church. The party of Eduardo Villanueva filed a petition with the Comelec seeking to disqualify Eddie Gill on the basis of him being a nuisance candidate, his incapacity to mount a nationwide campaign, and that because he was running with the aim to confuse voters because of their similar names. The LDP split the Laban ng Demokratikong Pilipino Party LDP would form the core of the main opposition party, the Koalisayan ng Nagkakosang Pilipino KNP. However, members of the party disagreed on which person to support for president. Panfilo Laxon, a member of the party, advanced his candidacy for president but was not considered by Edgardo Angara, the president of the party. Angara supported Fernando Poe Jr. Together with the party's Secretary General Agapito Aquino, Laxon gathered the support of some members of the party and went ahead with his candidacy. The LDP was subsequently polarized between those supporting Angara and Poe, and those for Laxon and Aquino. By then, Poe and Laxon have both filed their certificates of candidacies. According to the rules of candidacy, every presidential candidate must have a political party to back him or her. With the obvious split within the ranks of the LDP, and with no signs that the two factions would come to an agreement, the Comelec decided to informally split the party into the Aquino and the Angara wings. Laxon then ran under the LDP, Aquino wing, and Poe under the LDP, Angara wing, which would later become the KNP. During the campaign period, there had been numerous unification talks between the two factions. The opposition saw the need to become united under one banner to boost their chances of winning the presidential election against the organized political machinery of Arroyo. The plans of unification did not materialize due to the stubbornness of both Poe and Laxon. Laxon wanted Poe to concede to him and run as his vice presidential candidate while the supporters of Poe wanted Laxon to back out from his candidacy and instead support Poe, citing his low performance in the surveys. COMELEC's move for an automated elections Elections in the Philippines have always been a manual process with the results for national positions often being announced more than a month after election day. An attempt to rectify this was done by the Commission on Elections by automating the process of counting the votes. More than 30 billion pesos were spent in acquiring counting machines that were never used in this elections because of numerous controversies and political opposition. Parties and coalitions This election has seen strong shifts of alliances and new parties as candidates switched allegiances. 
The two major coalitions seen in this elections were the K4 Koalisayan ng Katapadan at Karanazan sa Kinabukasan, of the administration, and the KNP Koalisayan ng Nagkakasang Pilipino, the united opposition. Koalisayan ng Katapadan at Karanazan sa Kinabukasan, K4 the Koalisayan ng Katapadan at Karanazan sa Kinabukasan, Coalition of Truth and Experience for Tomorrow, or K4, is the remnant of the People Power Coalition that was formed following the ascendancy of President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo to power. Arroyo is seeking a complete term under this coalition with Noli de Castro, an independent, yet popular, broadcaster, as her running mate. The leading party in this coalition is the ruling Lacas CMD, of which Arroyo is a member. Other parties under this coalition are the Liberal Party, the Nationalista Party, the Nationalist People's Coalition and the People's Reform Party. Koalisayan ng Nagkakasang Pilipino, KNP The Koalisayan ng Nagkakasang Pilipino, Coalition of United Filipinos, or KNP, is the coalition of the United Opposition. Its standard bearers are Fernando Poe Jr. for President and Senator Lauren Lagarda for Vice President. The leading parties of this coalition is the Laban ng Demokratikong Pilipino, LDP Angara Wing, the PDP Laban and the Pursa ng Masang Pilipino. The LDP split is caused by stubbornness between Fernando Poe Jr. and Ping Laxon. Especially with the support of the former President Joseph Estrada and former First Lady Imelda Marcos. The other major party under this coalition is Estrada's Partido ng Masang Pilipino PMP, Party of the Filipino Masses. Alianza ng Pag-asa The third major coalition running in this election is the Alianza ng Pag-asa Alliance of Hope. This coalition fielded Raul Rocco for President and Herminio Lagunzad for Vice President. The three major parties supporting this coalition are Rocco. S. Axion Democratico, Democratic Action, Former Defense Sec. Renato de Villa, S. Reforma Party, and Lito Osmeñas Promdi, Provincia Muna, Province's First Development Party. The three parties were the ones that bolted out of the People Power Coalition. Bang on Pilipinas Movement, BPM. The Bang on Pilipinas Rise Up Philippines movement is the political party of Bro. Eddie Villanueva. It consists mostly of volunteers, a majority of whom came from Villanueva's Jesus as Lord Church. Villanueva resigned from the church before submitting his candidacy to prevent questions on separation of church and state. Laban ng Demokratikong Pilipino LDP Aquino Wing. This was composed of Panfilo Laxon supporters in the LDP party. Partido Icing Bansa, Icing Dewa. This was Eddie Gill's organization. Gill was deemed a nuisance candidate and was disqualified from the presidential race, however, the party qualified for other positions. Election results the official results of the election were released in staggered dates with most winners in local elective positions declared within two weeks from the May 10 election date. The winners in the senatorial and party list representative elections were declared on May 24, with the exception of the 12th senator which was announced on June 3. The results of the presidential and vice-presidential races were finalized by the Congress on June 20, more than a month after the elections. Out of the 43,536,028 registered voters, about 35.4 million ballots were cast giving a voter turnout of 81.4%. Shown below are the official tallies of the presidential, vice-presidential, and senatorial races as well as the last tallies of the quick count conducted by the National Movement for Free Elections NAMFREL, the citizens' arm of the COMELEC. President Final official congressional canvas NAMFREL quick count Partial and unofficial Breakdown Vice President 
Final official congressional canvas NAMFREL quick count Partial and unofficial Pet case no. 003, Lagarda v. De Castro, January 18, 2008 on January 18, 2008, in a 21-page resolution, penned by Senior Justice Leonardo Quisimbing, the Supreme Court of the Philippines, acting as the Presidential Electoral Tribunal PET, dismissed Senator Lauren Lagarda's electoral protest against Noli de Castro. Three reasons supported the judgment. First, the PET approved the recommendation of Hearing Commissioner and former Commission on Elections COMELAC, Chair retired SC Justice Bernardo P. Pardo that the pilot-tested revision of ballots or re-tabulation of the certificates of canvas would not affect the winning margin of the protestee in the final canvas of the returns, in addition to the ground of abandonment or withdrawal by reason of Protestants' candidacy for, election and assumption of the office senator of the Philippines. Second, Lagarda's failure to pay the P3.9 million, $1 equals P40, revision of ballots, in 124,404 precincts, fee despite court extension under Rule 33 of the PET, and third, jurisprudence of Defensor San Santiago v. Ramos, teaches that Lagarda effectively abandoned or withdrawn her protest when she ran in the Senate, which term coincides with the term of the Vice Presidency 2004-2010. Meanwhile, Noli de Castro on television stated, This is the triumph of truth. The truth that I won fair and square. I thank the Supreme Court for echoing the true voice of the people. From the very beginning I was confident that I received the overwhelming mandate of our people as Vice President." Lagarda stated that she will file a motion for reconsideration in due course. Legislative and local elections in the legislative elections, voters elected 12 senators, half the members of the Senate, who are elected at large with the whole country voting as one constituency, and all 208 members of the House of Representatives, who are elected from single-member districts. In the local elections, voters elected governors, vice-governors, and board members of the country's 79 provinces, and the mayor, vice-mayor and councillors of the nation s more than 1,600 cities and municipalities. Senators The Comelec sits as the National Board of Canvassers for the 12 senatorial positions. Per coalition Per party Representatives Exit polls during and immediately after the elections, exit polls were conducted by various organizations including the social weather stations. According to the SWS 2004 Day of Election Survey, final exit poll scores excluding blank answers. Released by the SWS on 19 May 2004, the national vote percentages are, GMA 45%, FPJ 34%, Laxon 10%, Rocco 6%, Villanueva 5%, slightly different numbers from May 11, error margin 2%, N equals 4,445. These results are affirmed when compared to the NAMFREL quick count as of May 21, as tabulated in. Comparison of ABS-CBN, SWS Exit Poll 2004 results as of May 17, 9 a.m., excluding no answer, and NAMFREL Quick Count as of May 21, 1 p.m., Report No. 63. The NAMFREL Quick Count shows GMA at 40.4%, FPJ at 36.5%, Laxon at 10.8%, Rocco at 6.2%, and Villanueva at 6.1%. It is notable in light of the subsequent Hello Garci scandal how exit polling revealed the candidate's performance in the autonomous region in Muslim Mindanao. To wit, the SWS exit poll shows that GMA won only 44% of ARMM while FPJ won 50%, in short 44 to 50. The NAMFREL quick count showed a score of 34.3 to 56.5. However, the final official Comelec canvas showed a result of 62% versus 31% in favor of Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. 
This highly irregular result constituted prima facie evidence of cheating in the ARMM. The SWS also published the number of registered voters per region as of April 28, 2004, or just a week before the elections, for the purpose of comparing their sample sizes with the actual number of voters. The ARMM had 1,057,458 voters, however, recall that in the final official Comelec canvas, FPJ won 31% of ARMM votes. If he had won 100% of ARMM, he could gain only 69% more of the ARMM voters, or 729,646 votes. Given that the final difference between GMA and FPJ was 1,123,576 votes, GMA would still have won the election by a total of 393,930 votes. Even if FPJ won 100% of the ARMM, GMA would still have won. So great was GMA's lead, that even if they padded ARMM voter rolls so that it would show 1.5 million voters, 69% of that would only be 1.035 million votes, still not enough to overcome the 1.123 million vote lead. This result is actually consistent with the trend of the pre-election opinion polls conducted also by the SWS. On April 23, just a little over two weeks before the election, the SWS released a poll, and the headline of the SWS report by itself was historically significant. SWS April 10-17, 2004 survey, Rocco depleted, voters go to GMA and undecided. The report's first line gives away the game, Raul Rocco. S. Sudden departure for abroad cost him almost half of his voting strength, allowing Gloria Macapagal Arroyo to gain a slim lead. Quote, that lead could not be reversed. At the last pre election SWS opinion poll, conducted from May 1 to 4, released on 8 May 2004, or just two days before the election, GMA leads FPJ by 7%, 37% to 30%, with 12% undecided. Official Congressional Canvas Under the Constitution, the Congress is mandated to become the National Board of Canvassers for the top two positions, the President and the Vice President. Tallying in the 216,382 precincts nationwide are submitted in election returns that are forwarded to the Municipal and City Board of Canvassers. These are then tabulated and forwarded to the Provincial Board of Canvassers which prepare the 176 Certificates of Canvas COC. These COCs were forwarded to the joint session of the Congress at the Batasang Pambansa in Quezon City on May 25, 2004. Senators and representatives from the administration and opposition have debated heatedly on the procedure of counting the COCs. The traditional way of counting the certificates, as used in the 1992 and 1998 elections, was to appoint a joint committee consisting of seven senators and seven representatives. Many opposition legislators, notably, Kong Didagan de Langalan of Maguindano, opposed this traditional method as unconstitutional saying that it should be the whole Congress, not a committee, who should count the votes. Part of the argument was that, power delegated cannot be further delegated referring to the delegation of counting to a committee. The proposal of some legislators was for the whole Congress to sit in a joint session counting each and every single certificate of canvas. The debates and deliberations for the rules of canvassing were finished by the Congressional Joint Session on May 28. The rules decided were very similar to the ones used in the 1992 and 1998 elections, which called for a joint committee to act as the National Board of Canvassers. The notable difference is the increase of the number of committee members from 14 to 22, this time consisting of 11 senators and 11 representatives. The composition of the committee was also announced by the Senate President, Franklin Drilon, and the Speaker of the House, José de Venecia. The composition was immediately lambasted by the opposition. The House portion of the committee consisted of nine administration representatives and two opposition. The PO camp called for a more equal representation for all the involved political parties in the committee. Despite the appointed commission mirroring the current composition of the House, there are 190 administration representatives in a 220 seat House. 
The official canvassing by the Congressional Joint Committee started on June 4, a little less than one month after Election Day. Canvassing was done in a slow pace, averaging about 12 certificates of canvas per day, as the opposition accused administration politicians of railroading the canvas. The opposition lawyers wanted to question the validity of 25 COCs, especially in those areas where Arroyo posted a wide margin over PO. They wanted the committee to examine the statement of votes at the municipal level and even down to the election returns at the precinct level to prove their claim that the certificates of canvas have been tampered with in favor of Arroyo. Administration lawyers contend that the committee is not the proper place to lodge complaints of fraud and that the opposition should go to the Presidential Election Tribunal the Supreme Court, after the winner has been proclaimed. See also Commission on Elections Politics of the Philippines Philippine Elections President of the Philippines 13th Congress of the Philippines External links General Sites Philippine Presidency Project Philippine Commission on Elections National Movement for Free Elections NAMFREL Media Sites and Articles Alexian 2004 Media Website Four exit polls have three different winners Philippine Daily Inquirer Prober's exit polls FPJ winner Congress Approves Canvassing Rules, Philippine Daily Inquirer SWS Admits It Made Errors in Exit Poll, Philippine Daily Inquirer Others On Election Polls, Part 4 WHO Did Better, SWSOR Pulse Asia, Dr. Romula A. Varola December 30, 2002 Arroyo Speech Declaring Her Intention Not to Run PET. Case No. 003, Lagarda v. De Castro. Literature. Tihenki, Julio. 2006. Consolidation or Crisis of Clientelistic Democracy? The 2004 Synchronized Elections in the Philippines. Between Consolidation and Crisis, Elections and Democracy in Five Nations in Southeast Asia. Berlin, Lit. pp. 215-276. References <references>